In this video, we're going to be learning how to write equations in point-slope form. So as a reminder, point-slope form is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. To be able to write an equation in point-slope form, you need a point and you need a slope. So remember, our slope is m and our point is x1, y1. So those are the two things you need. Again, the point is the x1, y1, and the slope is m. If you have those two things, you can write an equation in point-slope form. So on example one, it says write the equation of the line in point-slope form that has a slope of one half and it passes through the point one, five. Our slope of one half, that means m, is one half. The point one five, remember points are x, y, so this is x one. Oops, let me just change my color here to pink. x one and five is y one. So all we're gonna do is plug into point slope form. Again, that's y minus y one equals m times x minus x one. So I'm going to have y minus y1 is 5 equals m is 1 half times x minus x1 is 1. This is our answer. There's nothing else that we have to do. All we did was replace y1 with 5, m with 1 half, and x1 with 1. So you just take the pieces of information that you're given and you use that to plug into the equation. Go ahead and pause the video and try doing the same exact thing on example 2. Example two says a line has a slope of negative five. When they tell me that, I know that m is negative five and passes through the point three, negative two. This tells me that x1 is three and that y1 is negative two. So when I plug into my equation, my equation is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So I'll have y minus negative two is equal to negative five times x minus three. Now, when I look at this, whenever you have minus a negative, Remember that a negative times a negative is a positive. So another way of thinking about this is that when you're plugging into um, the point slope form, when you plug in for y1 or, y or x1, if that number is negative, then it's going to become a positive. So my answer is going to be y plus plus sign y plus 2 equals negative 5 times x minus 3. Again, those signs change because of the negatives that are inside of the formula. So this positive 3 became a negative 3, and this negative 2 became a positive 2. So if you just remember that you end up changing the signs of your points, then you'll be all set. Now on example 3, it's the same process, except here we're not given the slope. So we'll have to find the slope first. So it says write the equation of the line in point slope form that passes through the point 2, 1, and negative 3, 3. Our first step is to find the slope. So remember that our slope formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. The best piece of advice I can give you is to label your points. X1, Y1, X2, Y2. 
So we'll have 3 minus 1 over negative 3 minus 2. 3 minus 1 is 2. Negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5. So my slope is 2 over negative 5. Now this is the benefit of point slope form. Remember when we did slope intercept form, then we needed to solve for b and then plug in the slope and the y intercept to write the equation. Here, you don't need to do that. All you need to write point slope form is a point. We have two, so we're just going to pick one. And the slope. We just found the slope. So now that we know those two things, we could write our equation of the line. So my equation, I'm going to pick this point right here. You could pick either point. If I pick the point 2, 1, then my slope m is negative 2 fifths. x1 is 2 and y1 is 1. So when I write my equation, I'll have y minus 1 equals negative 2 fifths times x minus 2. This is my equation of the line. Oops. Now, if you're saying, okay, hold on, what if I chose the other point? Okay, great, let's choose the other point. If I choose negative 3, 3, then my equation would be y minus 3 equals negative 2 fifths times x plus 3. These lines are the same. I know that they're slain because both of these lines have this slope and go through these points. If you're not sure, you could always solve these for y and get them in slope intercept form and you'll see that they're the same. I can also pull up Desmos. So if I go to Desmos.com and I want to graph. So let's see. First, I'll begin by graphing this one. So y minus 1, let's see, y minus 1 equals negative 2 fifths times x minus 2. Oops. So there's that equation. If I type in the other equation, so my other equation was y minus 3, y minus 3 equals negative 2 divided by 5 times x plus 3. They're the same line. If I shut off the blue one, there's a red one. They're identical. So it does not matter which point you pick. Let's try that process again with example four. On example four, it says write the equation of the line in point slope form that passes through the point five, negative five, and 10, negative four. Our first step is to find the slope. And again, I'm gonna use the slope formula. Best piece of advice I can give you is to label your points x1, y1, x2, y2. So I'm going to have y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We know that minus a negative becomes a positive. Negative 4 plus 5 is 1. 10 minus 5 is negative 5. So my slope is negative 1 fifth. If I pick this point right here, then my equation will be y minus negative 5, so y plus 5, equals negative 1 fifth times x minus 5. If you pick the other point, so now if I pick this point right here, then that equation would be y plus 4, is equal to negative one-fifth times x minus 10. Both of these are correct. 
If you were to graph both of these lines, you would get the same line.